So today is not fantastic. I have got a cold. I've got it under control at the moment because I've been drinking loads, but it's very, very sore throat. So I still, even though I've got a sore throat, did a bit of recording. Yes, I still had a couple of videos to do. Let me just grab a seat. And today, I just thought I would sit here and have a chat with you about something that is really frustrating where Apple is actually failing to meet my expectations. And I had a little conversation with a few people on Twitter about it. And uh, one of them said, well, talk about it in a video, you know, let us know what your experience is. And the subject matter is email. So Apple's own mail application on both OS X on the desktop or laptop and indeed the mail application in iOS. And the mail application on the desktop has been abysmal, to say the least, for probably about six months to a year. It's been really very, very poor. And to explain a little further, what I mean by poor is in direct use with Gmail. Now, I use Gmail for Geek and Noise and a few other things as well. And I find that when you launch mail, it takes absolutely ages to synchronize messages. And then you find that messages don't even show up in the all inboxes section. Now, there was a certain stage up to probably about maybe three or four weeks ago, there was an update that came out and that broke something even more. But up until then, you could switch to a local inbox to, for example, my Geekanoids Gmail account, I could select that in the mail application, then go back to all inboxes, and that would uh, provoke the application to actually show all of the messages, so problem solved. And then, as I say, about three or four weeks ago, even that stopped working. So I had to start using an application that, in fact, I tested probably about six months ago, and that's called Airmail, and that works fine synchronizes with Gmail, shows all my messages, no issues at all, no need to dive into the web client for Gmail to get an important email, they just all show. So why Apple's own mail application can't achieve that, I have got no idea, it is a complete mess. And then with iOS 8, it happened a little bit with iOS 7, but not too much, but definitely with iOS 8, I will look at an email perhaps on my laptop and I will mark it as red or it will automatically mark as red. I will then go to my iOS device, be that an iPhone or an iPad, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, when I go to the mail application on my mobile device, the email is unread. So I mark it as red again. And then I'll go through the rest of my emails, perhaps on my mobile device, come out of the application, do something else, maybe in Twitter or you, the YouTube app or just something else, go back into the mail application on the iOS device, and then some of those messages are unread again. And then it updates and shifts everything around and some more appear. It's absolutely crazy and unworkable. And going back to my laptop or my MacBook Pro, sometimes you sit there waiting and, and nothing comes through, nothing synchronizes. And then all of a sudden you get like a whole day's worth of email all come up. Absolutely ridiculous. Now these are Apple's own applications. This is part of my experience and part of the user experience for you if you use the Apple platform that they really have no excuse not to get right. Of course, there can be bugs in new releases that take time to put right, but they've done many, many updates on this and they've never got it right. Certainly not for the past six months to a year. It hasn't worked as expected. And as such, I am really considering using Airmail full-time. I only use it part-time at the moment on the desktop and looking for an alternative on my iOS devices for mail as well. It's got to a situation now where if I don't find a solution on my iPhone, then I won't use it for email. I'll look to use maybe an Android smartphone for my email communications, because I need that communication to be rock solid whilst I'm out of the studio 
or whilst I'm in a different part of the building and I need to gain access to my emails or whilst I'm out running errands, I need to check my emails whilst I'm in the car, not driving of course, whilst I'm stationary, should clarify that. Um, but I need it to work, you know, and it should work. It never used to be like that. You go back two years and I had no issues at all with the Apple Mail application, using it with Gmail and my iCloud account, and now it's just rubbish. It really is really very, very poor. Now, I know that Apple probably won't be watching this, but if anyone from Apple is, this is a very important thing. It's not just affecting me, it's affecting many thousands and thousands of users that don't use iCloud, they use other email services, and it seems to primarily be an issue with Gmail. So please, if anyone at Apple is watching this, please do sort it out. Really very important feature for your customers. So that's it, a bit of a moan in today's video, but it had to be said. Now the rest of my day, I'm gonna be resting my voice. I'm not gonna do any more recording because I feel like poop. So I'm gonna just drink plenty, plenty of vitamin C, have loads of vegetables to eat over the next few days and just try and get rid of this cold. It's really very horrible. Oh, and some honey and lemon as well, of course. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Let me know what you think about what I've talked about. Are you experiencing issues with your Apple Mail clients? Or indeed, what do you use for mail on your iOS devices and also on your Mac desktop or laptop? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all again tomorrow.